guys and welcome to the family fudge and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration this time with the St. Patrick's Day twist okay guys now just a few things before we get started First off, like I said, these lunches are going to be St. Patrick's Day themed, but I'm not actually gonna be serving my kids necessarily Irish foods. I wanted to make sure I was giving my kids foods that they would actually eat and nothing too out of the ordinary. But I did sort of go with an orange and green and white theme because of the Irish flag. And also these ideas are super easy, anyone can make them. Next up, I have the shout out of the week. This week it's going to Ali for leaving us our first comment on last week's video. And our Instagram shout out is going to Chloe. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram for your chance to be next week's shout outs. Now let's get started. Hi guys and happy Monday. Right now I don't have any of the kids helping me. They're all playing in another room. But I just finished up lunch. I think it turned out super cute today. Let me show you how I made it. Now since this is a themed lunch, I'd like to start with a special napkin on the bottom and I also like to use a couple of paper cupcake liners. I went with the orange and green for the Irish flag. It is super easy and cute. Next I went ahead and made some special PB&Js using my shamrock cookie cutter. And don't worry you guys, I do like to save the extra parts of the bread. I do not just throw them away. They're really good for making French toast casseroles and things like that. Now to go along with our lunch today, I also gave the kids lots and lots of carrots, but instead of using my crinkle cutter like I normally would, I went ahead and tried to make the carrots look like coins, like you might find in a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. I think they turned out really cute and it was really easy too. Now over here in the green section, I just gave the kids lots of these really yummy green grapes and I put a cute little St. Patrick's Day pick just for fun. Over here I have some Activia yogurt. This is a vanilla flavored yogurt drink. The kids really like this kind. And then I'm also giving the kids a special treat today. In these little containers, oof, I just have a little bit of Lucky Charms cereal. Now this is meant to be eaten dry. I'm not giving them milk today, but this is definitely a special treat. I pretty much only buy this around St. Patrick's Day. It's really good. So we just have a few in there for the kids to snack on. So let me go see if the kids want to take a look before I package it up. Hey guys, do you want to come see? Yeah! Cool! Cool! <laughs> Is that like fun? Yeah! Okay, who knows why I use lots of green and orange today? Because the Irish flag is green and white and orange. That's right. I didn't pack any Irish food. I just went with the colors of the Irish flag. Kenzie, we got Lucky Charms today. Cool. Yep, they love Lucky Charms. Okay, I'm going to get all of my lids on. I definitely want to put an ice pack in here today because of the yogurt. We'll see you when we get back. Okay, friends, lunchtime is over. So let's go ahead and check and see what the kids ate today. Right now, I have Lily and Mackenzie and Jackson here helping me. Hi. So what did you say, Lily? I ate everything. You ate everything. What about you, Jack? I almost ate everything. Almost. What about you, Mackenzie? I ate everything, too. Let's see. Your Lucky Charms are gone. And everything else. Very nice. And let's check Jackson's. His cereal is gone. But the carrots. You still have a few carrots, huh? I can eat them right now. Okay. And Lily ate all of her cereal. And you ate everything, even all your carrots? What was your favorite part, guys? I liked the, the Lucky Chimes, the, the sandwich, the carrots, and, mm -hmm. the, and the yogurt. You liked almost everything? Yeah, I liked everything. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Hi, friends, and welcome to Tuesday. I have Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here. Hi. What do you guys think? Cool. Yeah, cool. It came out really fun. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating my boxes. I just added a napkin and one little cupcake liner. And I just put one in there today because in the other section, I'm putting some yogurt. I went ahead and put it right in the lunchbox this time instead of a separate cup. And to make it really fun, I added some St. Patrick's Day sprinkles. The sprinkles will make the yogurt itself turn a little bit green, so it'll be really fun. 
Now over in this corner, I actually have some chunks of mango. These are really ripe and delicious, and I've included a little pick for the kids to uh, pick them up with. <laughs> now over in this container, I actually have some slices of corned beef, like you, you would use for a Reuben sandwich. And I went ahead and rolled them up and added them to a skewer with some chunks of cheese. I don't normally give the kids chunks of cheese, so that'll be a fun change for today. Does it look cool? Yeah! yeah. So we have cheese and corned beef and cheese and corned beef, a really fun, delicious pattern. Now in these containers, I filled them up with these snap pea crisps. They look like this. Sometimes I get them at Trader Joe's, but these ones are from Costco. And I actually like the wasabi flavored ones. They're nice and spicy, but the kids don't really like those, do ya? No. Now I do have one special treat today, and that's a little Hershey's pot of gold chocolate because I thought that would go great for the leprechauns and St. Patrick's Day and all of that. Oh yes, and by the way, since it is Tuesday, today's lunch is nut free. That's important, I did not forget. Oh yes, and I also remembered to put in a little spoon for the yogurt. Does that look like enough food? Yeah! Yeah, they're not gonna be gone all day. So I think this is gonna be enough for, for lunch today. And they're also gonna be taking their water bottles. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my lids on. We definitely wanna put an ice pack in there today. Okay friends, lunch time is over and it's time to check the lunches. Right now I have both of my girls with me. Say hi. Hi. Let's go ahead with Kenzie's first. Oh, there's Jackson. Hi Jackson. Okay, so Mackenzie, all of her, uh, her, what were these? Snap peas? Yeah. Okay, yeah. snap peas. I can't even talk right now. And let's see. Okay, it looks like she has two little chunks of cheese left. That wasn't your favorite cheese? Yeah. Now I tried it. This was a Colby Jack blended cheese and it was a little bit stronger than what I normally give the kids. So next time I'll stick with the regular cheddar, I think. Yeah. But you ate all your yogurt and your mango. Yeah. Did you like the mango? Yeah. I really like mango that too. That was my favorite part actually. Well good. Okay, so for, oh this is Jackson's. Jackson has a few of his peas left and he also left a little bit of cheese. You weren't a fan of the cheese? Uh huh. Even, even, if, it, even if it was named after you? <laughs> Colby Jack, yeah. Let's see, Lily left all of her snap peas, but those are still good. She can eat those later. And she left a little bit of yogurt and one single thing of cheese. So I think I packed too much food today. Maybe next time I would pack a little bit less and definitely not that cheese again. What was your favorite, Lily? Pineapple, yogurt, and the thing that would <laughs> Pineapple? Do you, mean, do you mean mango? No, I like the mangoes and the kebab and, and the yogurt. Oh, did you like the meat, the corned beef? Yeah, corned beef is good. I'm definitely gonna be making a big one on St. Patrick's Day as well. Hi friends. And happy Wednesday. Today's lunch came out super cute, but I am gonna have to go grab some forks really quick. Okay, I wanted to go run and get some forks because as you can tell, we're having egg salad today and that might fall out of the bread just a little bit. So I'm gonna give the kids a fork so they can pick it up if it gets a little messy. What do you think today, guys? Cool. cool. There's a lot of green food in here today. Yeah. So I actually started today's lunch last night when I hard boiled some eggs for egg salad. Then this morning, all I had to do was chop them up, add some mayo, salt and pepper, and some relish. I like to use dill pickle relish in mine. It's very tasty. And just for fun, I added a little bit of green food coloring to make it green. I know Mackenzie's happy about egg salad, right? Yeah. Is it your favorite? Yeah. Okay. Now to go along with today's lunch, I'm also giving the kids some broccoli, and I put a little bit of ranch in there for dipping, and some really fun eyes. I love to put eyes on the vegetables. It just makes them that much more fun. Over here, I have some cheddar cheese which I've used my shamrock cookie cutter on to make them cute. And of course, I already told you about the egg salad. I went ahead and put that on a mini croissant. I really like the mini croissants versus bread for egg salad because the croissant doesn't get as soggy over time. And of course, I did put in our little St. Patrick's Day pick. It's gonna help keep our sandwich closed. In these cute little containers, which are green, I actually have some green yogurt covered pretzels. And these are actually lime flavored. They're really tasty. And then I have a really interesting fruit snack today. This is a fruit and nut. It's sort of like a leather. It comes in this little pod. I get them from Trader Joe's and they're really tasty. So it's basically just almonds and apricots in there. It's unsweetened 
but very tasty. So, okay, so I'm gonna get my lids on here. I have one for that one. I have a lid for this one. And then of course, after they're done, I will show you what they ate. Okay friends, lunchtime is over now. And as you can tell, we have some leftovers today, but we're kind of in a hurry to head out the door. So the kids had to hurry. I can see that Mackenzie ate everything, so good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. What was your favorite part? I, I, think, I, I think I know what it was. The egg sandwich. Of course. And Jackson left some cheese and some broccoli. I don't think he ate any broccoli. And he didn't eat this either, but he can eat this later. It's still good. And then Lily did pretty good. She ate her sandwich, although she didn't eat her apricot thing either. We'll save that for later. And she left all her broccoli stems, so that's not too bad. Did you guys like the pretzels? Yeah. Those yeah. are super good. We only have one left in the entire bag, so the whole family snacked on these. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Thursday. What do you think, Mackenzie? It looks cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So here's how I made today's lunch. I started by adding my napkins and my cupcake liners. These are super cute. I really love the plaid one, especially for St. Patrick's Day. Then I made some pesto pizzas, and I used my large shamrock cookie cutter to make it festive. So I just cut out my whole wheat pita bread, added some basil pesto, and toasted it in the oven. So it's kind of like a pizza, kind of like garlic bread. It's really good, and it can be served room temperature. To go along with this today, I'm also serving lots of these sugar snap peas, and I put them on this really cute little pix just for fun. And over in this corner, I also have some cubes of cantaloupe. I had a few bites of this cantaloupe and it's really good. And I added a cute little pick as well. Now over here, I am sending the kids with a little treat today. This is a Rice Krispie treat with some really fun St. Patrick's Day sprinkles. And I'm also giving the kids a yogurt today. This is the drinkable Activia yogurts in the vanilla flavor. So today's not a very long day. I don't need to pack a ton of food for the kids. So I think this is gonna be all they need. So I'm gonna put all of my lids on, pack these up. And of course, when we get back home, we'll show you what we ate. Okay friends, time to see how they did today. Let's check Mackenzie's first. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was good. See, your Rice Krispie Treat is gone. And everything else. Very nice. Let's check Jackson's. Uh-oh, Jackson. Uh, you only ate one key out of everything? Why not? Why didn't you eat more? Uh, because that was too much. It was too much? Uh-huh. But you drank your yogurt and you had your little shamrock pesto pizza thing and you ate your cantaloupe. So let's check Lily's. What'd you think, Lily? It was good. It was good. But she also only ate one of her snap peas and she still has a few pieces of cantaloupe left. See, I get a lot of questions about whether or not I'm sending the kids with enough food and obviously if I give them more, they just don't eat it. So, I will definitely pack them a little bit less tomorrow. Jackson, what was your favorite? Um, the shamrock pizza. Yeah. And the, this yogurt. Oh, the yogurt, drink. yeah. And, uh, and the cantaloupe. What was your favorite, Lil? Um, the pizza, the cantaloupe, the yogurt, and everything else. Everything else? You just had too much of it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Friday. Today's lunch turned out really cute. Right now, I have Jackson and Lily here with me. Say hi. Hi, hi. What do you guys think? Cool. So I actually started this lunch last night by making some really yummy cheese dip for the kids. I took some room temperature cream cheese and I added some of this everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. There's onion and garlic and salt in there. It's delicious. And then I put this inside my shamrock silicone mold and stuck that in the fridge overnight. Now I have to be honest with you guys, these didn't turn out the best. You can still sort of see the shape on there, but that's okay, it's still gonna taste really good. Now to go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some of these big size Cheez-It crackers. I just love the orange and the green and the white. That looks so cute for St. Patrick's Day. So they can dip their crackers in the cheese. Now I went ahead and just added a little pick here just to make it look cute. There's really no purpose other than that. In this back corner, I gave the kids some broccoli salad. So I have some chopped up broccoli, and to that I added a poppy seed vinaigrette that I made a few days ago. It's really tasty. 
And then over here, I have this cute little orange with the eyeball pick. Now to go along with this, I'm also giving the kids a vanilla yogurt. This is perfect today because it's green. And I have an RX Kids Bar. This is in the apple cinnamon raisin flavor. And you can see all of the ingredients right on the front there. So I think that's gonna keep them pretty full. I'm definitely gonna give them a fork for their salad and probably a spoon as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on here and then we will head out the door. I'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and here's what we're left with. Right now I have Mackenzie, Lily, and Jackson helping me. Hi. So how Hi. was it today? It's good, it's mm -hmm. good. How did you like your cheese? That, it was good. Yeah. So Mackenzie ate everything. There's just a few little pieces of broccoli stems in there. But you ate your yogurt and your bar? Yeah. Jackson left some crackers, some cheese, and his cutie. So what happened, Jack? Mm -hmm. We were just full. I had a tummy ache. You had a tummy ache? Oh no. And Lily did pretty good too. She actually asked me for more broccoli. So she had a second helping of broccoli and then didn't finish that. So her eyes must have been bigger than her stomach, huh? Yeah. You thought you were really hungry, but then you were full. But you also left a little bit of your cheese. Did you like your cheese and crackers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was your favorite part? The broccoli and the crackers and the cutie. Yeah. Overall, I think they did really well today, but I don't know that I would make this cream cheese thing again. I think regular cheese would be a lot easier and probably less messy. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, out of all the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Now, if you'd like to see last week's video, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can do that by clicking on the link down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.